live from the 22 News Studios. This is a Decision 2011 special program. Today, a debate with Agawa mayoral candidates Richard Cohen and Rosemary Sandlin. And now, here's Rich Tedemer. Good afternoon and welcome to the debate between the candidates running for mayor of Agua, Mayor Richard Cohen and former state representative Rosemary Sandlin. Mayor Cohen is on the left of your screen and Rosemary's on the right. Both candidates will have 60 seconds for their opening remarks and then I will explain how a Lincoln-Douglas debate format works. We held a drawing to determine who goes first and Mayor Cohen starts with his opening remarks. Mayor? Thank you, Rich. I want to begin by saying how proud I am to serve as the mayor of Agawam. This is a town I care deeply about and a job I genuinely love. Over the course of this campaign, I have chosen to keep a positive tone. I have focused on my accomplishments and my vision for the future of Agawam because this is the type of campaign the voters of Agawam expect and deserve. While other communities are drowning in debt, cutting police and fire, and trimming other services, I have worked hard to keep Agawam on a solid financial footing despite the economic downturn. I've worked with our town officials to keep our community strong and our streets safe. I have fought day and night to keep taxes low for the citizens of this community. And along with our teachers and administrators, we have maintained one of the best school systems in the region. I promise to continue to fight and to continue with this positive message throughout and up until Election Hi, Day. Rosemary Sandlin, your opening remarks, please. My first priority as mayor would be to develop a disaster relief plan that would address a crisis like the one we are currently experiencing. Channel 22's webpage listed 20 area communities with warming shelters. This did not, that included West Springfield and Southwick. It did not have Agawam. It's hard to accept the fact that many of our families were freezing in their homes when they could have gone to a warming center. This should never happen in this day and age, and political rhetoric won't cover up poor management. Okay. With the debate will be a Lincoln-Douglas debate format where the candidates ask each other the questions with time allotted for reply and rebuttal. Candidate A will have 30 seconds to ask a question. Candidate B then gets 60 seconds for a reply before candidate A gets 30 more seconds for rebuttal. At the end, I will, uh, actually I will remind the candidates when it's time to stop if they go over the time limit. And at the end of the debate, each candidate will have 60 seconds for a closing statement. We also held a drawing to determine who gets to ask the first question. And Mayor Cohen, you're up. Thank you. Mrs. Sandlin, you have mentioned on a number of occasions that your salary as a state legislator was only $61,000. Just so that we are clear, did you avail yourself of the loopholes that exempt state legislators from having to pay any income taxes on that salary? Mr. Cohen, that question was asked and answered, but I will give you that question again, and I will try to speak very, very slowly. I did not take the tax loophole. I did not earn enough money as a single payer, into the, to, in, a payer to be able to avail myself of that. I had enough deductions from my home and from my charitable deductions to take the normal acceptable deductions that every citizen in Aguam and the Commonwealth take. Thank you, Mrs. Sandlin. Um, I take this question very seriously because it is a deduction available to everybody. And I'd like to know on your tax returns, have you also included what I call a $17,000 perk for per diem that you got for food and gas. And even with your deductions, you can still take that deduction and pay no taxes. Let's be clear. Rose, Rosemary Sandlin, your question, please. You say, Mr. Mayor, that you are frugal when spending the town's monies, yet you hosted a dinner for 11 people, ordered dinner delivered from a restaurant in West Springfield, and pay for it with taxpayers' money. Is that an example of how you are frugal with our money? Mrs. Sandlin, I have never, ho I'm not aware of what you're talking about, hosting a dinner and paying for it through the town. 
I wish you could be more specific so I could answer your question. In March of this year, Mayor Cohen signed an invoice which said, thanks once again for your business from a West Springfield restaurant for 11 complete dinners and paid for it with Title II funds, which is for educating our children. At a time when we were considering laying off teachers, that is not frugal and it may not be legal. Mrs. Sandlin, that is a it's no, your turn for a question me. here. Okay. So you know. Mrs. Sandlin, that's a school expenditure which I had nothing to do with. The entire school committee signed off on it. Um, you should really have your facts straight. And it just goes to show how you don't understand the budgeting process. Because you have talked repeatedly over the course of this campaign about more, government more accountable. How can the voters of Agawam possibly believe you when you voted to reelect Sal de Macy as Speaker of the House, despite the fact that for nearly two years, the Boston Globe, U.S. Attorney, State Attorney, knew he was painstakingly racketeering, and you said, I stand behind him, he's doing a good job. Well, I would say to you that you're trying to question my ability to manage a budget. And you're bringing in outside issues that have nothing to do with my ability to manage a budget. If you were a single parent, like I have been, with four children, growing up in Agwam, raising my children in Agwam, you would know how to really manage a town's money. Mrs. Sandlin, speaking of how to manage money and being a single parent, it says right here that you racked up five tax leads on unpaid water and sewer bills. You also had a property owned by yourself, slapped with a lien and uh, unpaid real estate taxes, both Springfield and Agawam. And that's a legislator's excuse for filing. Just doesn't hold water and only satisfies you, not the taxpayers. You have been delinquent in paying and taking care of budgeting for yourself. How are you going to do a larger budget? Rosemary, your next question, please. The Aguam City Clerk's starting salary in 2002 was only $2,000 more than the West Springfield counterpart. Today, the town clerk's salary makes $25,000 more than the West Springfield counterpart. Can tell, you tell me how this huge difference in salary occurred? Absolutely, Mrs. Sandlin. I did not develop that budget. It started in 1995. It has been negotiated by uh, Mayor Johnson, Mayor Dawson, and myself. And you continually attacked. You're running against me, not the clerk, not the police chief. These people were your friends. And you continue to attack them and their families. Our budget is over $5 million less than West Springfield's. And even the endorsement today by the Springfield Republican says I am financially responsible and I've maintained low taxes. You're talking about 1.9% of the budget. You have not once talked about what you are going to do as mayor. You have talked about a tax a negative, negative campaign. I wish you would debate me, Mrs. Sandlin, not the police of chief, police of, uh, chief of police, the clerk, and other people who work hard in this community. Rebuttal? In 2006, Mayor Cohen, you gave the department heads three additional steps, increasing their pay s s schedules as part of a deal to drop an unfair labor practice against you. That's where the high salaries came from. And if you call my comments about high salaries negative and harmful, but they are truthful and they were made public by city councilors way before I did. Again, Mrs. Sandlin. This is your question.